Good morning and welcome back into Morning Moments with Jesus today. You know, we spend a lot of time in our devotion talking about this life that we live, the struggles and the triumphs and the tragedies, the ha- valleys and the hill mountaintops and all of the things that we endure in life. But this morning, the Lord brings us together in our devotion time to talk about beyond this life. In John chapter 14, Jesus begins to speak to his disciples about a place that he calls his father's house. And he talks to them about what all is there and that he is going to prepare a place for them that where he is, they may be also. And Thomas speaks up during the course of this conversation and he says, how can we know the way to this place that you call your father's house? And Jesus speaks up and tells me all I need to know about life beyond this life. In verse number six in John chapter 14, Jesus says unto him, I am the way the truth, and the life. And no man comes unto the Father but by me. Jesus begins this statement by saying that he is the way, and that is a direction. Many years ago in my life, I began to seek that direction because I believe there is something in all of us that seeks the heart of God that knows beyond the shadow of a doubt, no matter what people may say, no matter whether they claim to believe in God or not believe in God, there is something in all of us who knows that there has to be more to life than this life. And you may find yourself wandering through life right now, not real sure of which way to go, But you can find a path that leads to your purpose in Jesus Christ. And I want to tell you this morning that he will not only lead you through this life, but only he can offer the way beyond this life. He also speaks and he says, I am not only the way, but I am the truth. And that speaks to us of a standard. I believe you'd be honest this morning in saying that this world has no shortage of opinions. Everyone has their own version of what they believe is the truth. But Jesus says that he is truth. Not that he has the truth or that he speaks the truth. We know that he does, but he says that he is truth. He is called the word in the Bible because every word in the Bible is wrapped around one simple truth, that Jesus Christ is our gift of grace given to us that we might have eternal life beyond this life. He wraps that statement up by saying he is not only the way and not only the truth, but he is the life. And that speaks to us this morning, guys, as a purpose. We are merely existing in this life until we have Jesus Christ as our personal Savior. But once you accept Christ as your Savior, he says to us in John 10.10 that he came to give us an abundant life, a life of purpose, a life of direction, and a standard by which to live by. But he also gave his life that we might have life, yes, beyond this life. I like what Paul, the Apostle Paul writes in the book of Romans, that all of us have fallen short of the glory of God, that we all need the way, the truth, and the life that Jesus offers. And if we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in our hearts that God has raised his son from the dead and offers us eternal life, then the Bible says we shall be saved. No matter how messed up you think your life is, no matter how far you feel like you are from God, you are never so far gone that Jesus can't reach you right where you are. It's funny, we have insurance on our cars. We have insurance on our homes. We even insure our life so that 
It can be passed on to others once we're gone. But this morning, do you have assurance over your soul beyond this life? Call out to him right now where you are. Tell him that you believe that he is the way, the truth, and the life. And that you need him to bring peace to your troubled heart. You will not, he will not only begin to help you today. But based on his promise, he will be even be able to help you beyond this life. So I pray for you today. I pray that you will not leave this life without the way, the truth, and the life that can only come through Jesus Christ the Lord. You be safe, you be strong, and you be blessed. And you be a person today that is prepared for life beyond this life. Lord's will, we'll see you back here again tomorrow. And until then, you have a great day.